Hi, I'm Kevin Mohammed, Applications Engineer with the Transceiver Product Group at Analog Devices. In this video, I'm going to introduce the ADRV 9026 Evaluation System. The ADRV 9026 is a quad-channel RF wideband transceiver platform. It offers the widest bandwidths, highest performance in a single chip TDD and FDD solution. The device enables common platform solutions for 3G, 4G, 5G base station designs and other wireless applications. It supports up to 200 megahertz primary signal bandwidth covering LO frequencies from 650 megahertz to six gigahertz. The device simplifies radio design while reducing system power, size, weight, and costs for macro base station, massive MIMO, and small cell applications. Let's review the components of the ADRV 9026 evaluation system. The ADS9 is the system motherboard. The Ethernet cable inserts into the micro Z board attached to the ADS9. On the underside of the micro Z board is the slot where the micro SD card is inserted. The micro SD card contains the API software and drivers for operating the ADRV 9026. First, we'll turn on the motherboard and then connect the six volt adapter to the board. When the motherboard powers up, a red light on the micro Z card will illuminate. On the PC connected to the evaluation system, let's open up the ADRV 9026 evaluation software GUI. When the red LED on the ADS9 turns off, we can click connect in the GUI. Once the connection is made, we can configure the evaluation board. First, let's select a desired use case. The use case defines the data rates and bandwidths for the transceiver. If desired, we can adjust device configuration options in the initialization tab. Before programming, it is critical to check the clock page and make sure the ref A clock selection matches the input clock feed. Now we're ready to program the device. In the case of an error during initialization, check File, View Log File for more information. Once programmed successfully, we can interact with the device as necessary. Now we can move to the Transmit Data tab. This tab can be used to generate CW tones, load data vectors, control TX attenuation, or run further initial calibrations. Here, I'll use the tone generator to transmit the signals. I go to the Tones box, and then load the data file for all four transmitters. Then I click Submit, and then press Play in the GUI. The Spectrum window shows time and frequency domain data for the waveform. Checking the Spectrum Analyzer, we see the expected output. Let's move to the OBSRX tab. Clicking Play allows us to view the input signal to the observation receiver. Note that this is the same data that we transmitted. Other features in the GUI include a TDD tab where the user can set up time division duplex settings as requested. Another feature in the GUI includes an Iron Python scripting tab where users can run custom scripts as they need. For more information, please visit analog.com/adrv9026.